if we have protons that have the same connectivity, well, let's say if they have different connectivity, different connectivity means non-equivalent. Let's write down the basic ideas and then we can look at some examples. Same connectivity. means equivalent. And we'll look at some examples to see how this works. For example, let's decide Let's decide whether these hydrogens are equivalent or not equivalent to each other. But we have to decide if they have the same connectivity or not. So the, what will be your guess here? Would you think these hydrogens are equivalent or not equivalent? Equivalent. Equivalent, because they're all connected to the same carbon. So they have the same connectivity. What's the impact of that? Well, how many peaks are we going to get? On our printout then, just one peak. All of these hydrogens will show up as the same peak. So we would simply get a single peak in our printout here. Those were all equivalent. So that's the simplest case. So notice that the number of peaks is not the same as the number of hydrogens. Mm -hmm. And by the way, remember we're focusing on proton NMR, so we're focusing on the absorptions by the hydrogens. We're just focusing on the hydrogen absorptions. We're not focusing now on carbon absorptions. That would be a different type of NMR. So we're focusing on the hydrogen absorptions for proton NMR. And since there, there's four, the fact that there's four hydrogens here makes no difference for the number of peaks, there's only one set of equivalent peaks. So you get one peak here. Now here's a more difficult case. Let's think about two hydrogens on this carbon. Would you say two hydrogens on this carbon are equivalent or not equivalent? I would say they would be equivalent. That's right. Now here's something trickier. How about say these two hydrogens? Are they equivalent or not equivalent? They are on different carbons with the same connectivity. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's right. Even though they're on different carbons, they really have the same connectivity. After all, this hydrogen is on a carbon that's connected to a CH3 carbon, and this hydrogen is on a carbon that's connected to a CH3 carbon. Mm -hmm. So both of those hydrogens, even though they're on different carbons, they have the same connectivity, so they would be equivalent to each other. So how many peaks are we going to get here? Still only one peak. Mm -hmm. Still only one peak. So the, roughly speaking, the printout is still going to look like this, with only one peak. So it's possible for hydrogens to be on different carbons and still be equivalent to each other. That happens a lot, as, long as the carbons that they're on have the same connectivity. Connectivity is a word that's a little hard to define, or at least it's hard for me to define, but I think if we see a couple examples, we'll get a feel for what connectivity is. So, um, the, so I know you said those two hydrogens are equivalent. Which, Which means all the hydrogens are equivalent. Oh. Okay. Because we already decided that these two were equivalent, right? Yes. And I think it would be plain that these two would be equivalent. Right. And if these are also equivalent, then they're all equivalent to each other. Oh, okay. We know that all the hydrogens on this carbon are equivalent to each other, and all the hydrogens on this carbon are equivalent to each other, and the hydrogens on the left-hand carbon are equivalent to the hydrogens on the right-hand carbon. So okay. no, there's no hydrogens that are different from each other here. This will probably be clearer if I can come up with an example where we do have non-equivalent carbons. Then we can see what makes things non-equivalent. But so far, we've only seen all equivalent hydrogens. So this would, again, have one peak.
say that these two hydrogens are equivalent or not equivalent? They're equivalent. They seem equivalent. So let's call, I think it's pretty clear that all the hydrogens on this carbon are equivalent. So let's call them all A hydrogens. Mm -hmm. And how about these two? Are these equivalent? Yes. How about these two? Yes. Yes. Even though they're on separated carbons, the carbons they're on have the same connectivity. For example, this hydrogen is on a carbon that's connected to a CH2 carbon that's connected to a CH3 carbon. And this hydrogen is also on a carbon that's connected to a CH2 carbon, that's connected to a CH3 carbon. So their environments are exactly the same. So the, the key thing is remember that you'll get different peaks if the nuclei are in different environments. You'll get different peaks if the nuclei are in different environments. But I think it's plain that a nucleus on this carbon has the same exact type of environment as a nucleus on this carbon. Even though they're not the same carbon, their environments are the same. So we would expect them to get the same peak. That means I should put the letter A over here as well. This is going to start to be a very important technique for us lettering all the equivalent hydrogens. We should always letter all the equivalent hydrogens. Equi hydrogens that are equivalent to each other should get the same letter. So these would all be A. Now, when you're ready, how about these two hydrogens? Are these equivalent or non equivalent? Which means we should not put the letter A on here. Right. We should put the letter B. How about these two? Are these equivalent? Yes. Yes. So here's our first example where we have two sets of non-equivalent hydrogens. These hydrogens in the middle are not in the same type of environment as the hydrogens at the end. Because these are in the middle and these are at the ends. So that clearly their, their environments are different. That means how many peaks is our spectroscopy printout going to give us? Two peaks, one for A and one for B. Roughly speaking, it'll look a little like this. We're not going to get into the details of why this is higher than this right now. But roughly speaking, it'll look kind of like this with two different peaks. So still, we just want to learn how to identify the equivalent hydrogens here. Good. examples. Do these two seem equivalent? Yes. Let's call all the ones on this carbon A. Right. How about these two? Are these equivalent? No. No? Because these are on the end and this is not on the end, for oh. one thing. So we have to put a new letter in for this. We call this B. Mm -hmm. Are these two equivalent? Yes. So they both would be B. Mm -hmm. Now, how about these two? That's right. Notice that symmetry tends to make things equivalent. When molecules are symmetrical, then you tend to have many protons in similar environments. And if there's no symmetry, you have less things equivalent. So I should still call these B. Mm -hmm. All right. And now should I call this A, B, or invent a new letter C? That will be A. That's right. We should not invent a new letter C, because these are equivalent to these on the left-hand side from symmetry again. How many peaks would we get here? Two. Two peaks. OK. Looks like we're making good progress on that. find any difference in their environments, then they're not going to be the same. Well, there is a difference. You could say this is attached to a CH3, and this is not attached to a CH3. Or you could just say this is in the middle, and this isn't. Either way, that shows they're in different environments. So I can invent the new letter C for these two. How about these hydrogens? What letter should I give these, A, B, C, or D? That would be B. That's right. And how about these? A. Good. So now we have another important lesson, which is not all CH2 groups are equivalent. 
And previously, we've only seen equivalent CH2 groups, but here we have CH2 groups that are different because even though they're both on CH2 carbons, their carbons are not attached in the same, their, those carbons are not in the same environments. Now, how many peaks would we get here? Three. Yeah, now we get three peaks. Good. How many peaks here? One. Because all of these hydrogens are equivalent to each other. All of these hydrogens are equivalent to each other, so we'd only get one peak. Okay. 